Bulavanaka, Namaste, and greetings to members of the FNU family. I hope that you are keeping safe and well and observing the public health advice and restrictions, which are there to protect us, our communities, and our loved ones. This week, I would like to start by re-emphasizing the importance of following the COVID-19 safety protocols to protect the safety and welfare of all our staff and students. At the end of last week, a cluster of positive cases emerged at the Natambua campus. To mitigate the risk of further infection and in line with the university's incident management policy, FNU took swift and decisive action to contain the situation. All movement in and out of the Natambua campus is restricted until this Friday, the 20th of August, 2021. Access will be provided only to frontline and emergency workers. On Friday, a review will be conducted by the incident response team to determine whether the restrictions can be lifted or need to be extended. In the meantime, we're providing all rations and other essential supplies to the students and staff resident at the Natambua campus. The positive cases in the West mirror a growing national trend and they show that the virus moves whenever people move and spreads whenever people meet. We must all play our part in containing the spread of the virus by observing the public health measures, restrictions and protocols. The more strictly we adhere to the rules, the more quickly the pandemic will be brought under control and the more quickly we will be able to get back to our normal lives. It's up to each and every one of us to play our part in defeating coronavirus. In my last few videos, I have spoken about the FNU values and the pillars of our new strategic plan. Today, I would like to focus on the key enabler of our ambitions, our people. Our people are our most important asset in recent months, we have worked hard to amend existing policies and develop new policies to encourage staff growth and career progression and to enable staff to play to their strengths. Our new MAQs for TVET, our two new academic role profiles and the associated promotion criteria are all good examples of empowering our people to realise their potential and drive the university forward. The university has a strong mix of academic and professional services staff who together are focused on serving our key customers, our students. We need to adopt a customer service ethos, recognising that students in Fiji have a choice of institution for their tertiary studies. Delivering an excellent student experience is at the heart of FNU's new strategic plan. But a university is not like a shop. Education is not a one-way transaction. The best universities around the world see education as a joint endeavour, where students and staff collaborate to create, share and disseminate knowledge. Where teaching is informed by research and research questions are framed by the experience of teaching. Where students and staff co-create their learning and teaching environment. A true partnership between students and staff. If FNU is to take its place among the ranks of world-class universities, that is the culture we need to create. A genuine partnership between staff and students will also be essential if we are to address the big issue facing Fiji and the Pacific over the next decades, environmental sustainability and climate change adaptation. As part of our own focus on sustainability at FNU, we have launched a competition for staff and students to come up with a slogan for our sustainability plan 2021 to 2026. We look forward to receiving your creative ideas for a winning slogan. To all our students, let me emphasize that your welfare remains our number one focus. If you do have a concern, please contact your college dean, the office of the registrar, or your FNUSA representative. Your university will respond quickly to all requests for support. Finally, 
Returning to the subject with which I began this message, I would like to remind everyone to follow the COVID-19 safety protocols. Please wash your hands regularly with soap and water or use a hand sanitizer. It's the best way of killing the virus. Please practice strict social distancing, maintaining a two metre distance from other people, even if you know them well. Always wear a face covering when outside your home. And please get vaccinated. It's our best protection as individuals and as a community against COVID-19. Working together and following the science, as members of a university have a responsibility to do, we will come through and build back better. Keep safe. Thank you. And Nisa Mobe. Thank you.